Having a portfolio as a UX designer these days is non-negotiable. You need it to show your past works to potential clients and employers, or just show people some of the cool things that you have done in the past. In today's video, I'm gonna introduce you to a super awesome tool called CarbonMade that you can use to create your portfolio as a designer from scratch. It's easy to use, requires no coding, has an amazing set of templates that you can pick from, and integrates easily with social media. So without wasting any more time, Let's get into today's video. Now a little bit more about CarbonMade. CarbonMade is the easiest and fastest way to create your portfolio. There are so many reasons to use CarbonMade, such as the unlimited layouts, unlimited uploads, and really easily customizable layouts. It does have other really cool features such as unlimited galleries and is perfect for videos. Of course, you don't need any coding skills and it is already responsive. So let's get started first off by creating an account. You can get CarbonMade free for one month using this link, carbonmade.com slash Sharon dash me. So let's create our account. So after you put in your email, you can put in your name. And you can, of course, choose from the suggestions what role you have. Of course, I'm a UX designer, so we're gonna go with that. I really love this animation, it's so cool. And so, first of all, we have some cool starter templates that we can choose from. And I'm just going to start with this one and click on Customize. So then of course we have a really quick tour to get us started. So let's look around. So this is what the interface looks like when you first log in. So let's start off by looking at the interface. So here you can take a look at your projects. Right now we don't have any. Here you can edit the design of your portfolio. So looking at the logo, the title, site navigation, any global styles. Here you can look at your analytics, how many people are visiting your website, what are they, what devices they use and so on. And here of course we have help and some settings. And then on this side, we can take a look at something called blocks. And these blocks are essentially kind of like little bits of a template that you can use to really speed up the process. And then here, of course, we have our main view of the portfolio and what it looks like. At the top, we can see the option to reorder some of these blocks and components. We also have the option to preview what it looks like on mobile and then, of course, to go live. So let's play around and edit some of these just a little bit. So we have the top section here that just says UX designer, I'm a designer of user experiences. So maybe we can change the text a little bit. So I'm just gonna click on the gear and see what options I have for editing this particular block. Maybe we can change some of the information, what it says, and maybe just tweak it a little bit. So I can hide the header if I want, I can choose to use just the subheading, and I can also remove the divider. So I think I'm going to hide the main heading and use just the subheading. And we can edit our text directly in here. So now let us create our first project. And so we can do this by saying add projects here. And I do have a file here where I took out some projects from a previous portfolio of mine that I'm gonna to use to populate this. So let's start off by adding projects. Now let's say the name of this project is cancellation flow. And then we can also upload a thumbnail. So let's quickly choose one.
Now let's look at it so far. It looks okay. We can also customize this block and adjust the different settings as we would like. So now that we've done that part, let us go in and actually add some content in here. So we can start out by choosing some of the blocks that we believe would be best. And I want to start out with having an image at the top. So I'm going to upload the image that I would like. I'm going to take out this description. It doesn't seem so necessary. And then let's add in a title here. So I want to start out with like an introduction to the project. Um, so we can talk a little bit, give a little bit more context about what the project is about. So we're just going to call this part introduction. I do want to format this text a little bit. I'm going to change this to work sounds as well. And I'm going to hide, go to the settings here for this particular block and hide the subheading. So maybe just to add a bit more context, I'm going to, I'm going to duplicate this block and then we can go here to reorder and then move this to the top. Let's see how that looks. And we're going to add in the name of the project, which is cancellation flow. And then here we're going to have like the introduction. Now for this, for our text blocks, I found this really cool way of adding in text, which has like a title on the left side, as well as the content on the right. So I'm going to fill this in with the information of the project, which is going to include the first part, which is the overview, the goal, my role, as well as the tools used. So I'm just going to add those in really quickly. Then I actually decided to leave out this tools used, not because there's anything wrong with this section, but I just kind of changed my mind. So then up next, we're going to add in another section, which is for the design process. And so I'm just going to duplicate this heading here. I kind of starting to feel like it's a little bit big, so I'm going to reduce it just a little bit. And it is the global text styling editing is on, so it's going to also reduce the size of this one as well. So just going to clone this block here, go into the reorder mode, and then move this one all the way to the bottom. And then we click on done and then scroll to the bottom and there it is. So this is the design process. So let's get into it and then add some more of these sections. So I'm just going to duplicate this one and Go back into the reorder mode, scroll all the way down, and then bring this to the bottom and continue. So the first thing we did here was to define the product vision. So I'm going to go in here and then, of course, fill this up with the steps that we took, which is defining the product vision, product research and empathy, getting into the actual design, prototyping, as well as doing some usability testing. So I'm going to add that in really quickly using the same method that we had used for the others. Now, if you haven't noticed, I really like this option of displaying your text and just playing around with it like this. It's super easy to use and to really just understand the text. So, so far I'm quite enjoying this. Now let's take a look at how it would look on mobile. And we can see just how really cool and scalable everything is. And so I'm really loving it so far. Now let's go back to the desktop view and continue adding in our content. So at this point, I want to add in some imagery. So I'm going to use this block here, which is for images, audios, or videos. So we're just going to throw that in. 
I'm going to add in a picture of the information architecture that was done for this particular project. So this loaded in quite easily. And so I'm just going to add in for the description text, what we already have here. Okay. Looking great so far. So the next thing we want to add in is the wireframes. So we could say design here. Um, this is for the flow. And then probably the next thing that was done was wireframing. So just going to add in, oops, <laughs> going to add in this as well. And here we can say these are the wireframes. So then we moved on to some basic wireframes. So we're just going to add in that text and some of the images there as well. So for the images of the wireframes, there are quite a few of them, at least two or three. So we're going to try and use a slideshow instead, and then we're going to up choose the images that we want to use. So now we have two images for these wireframes. And then up next, we should have the actual images. And for this, we could decide if we would like to use a slideshow or use a gallery. So let's just add this next one in. So I said we're going to use a gallery grid because they look so much cooler. So let's go in and select our images. And there we have it. We have added in our little gallery. And now let's try and see if we can add in some more content. So I want to throw in a screenshot that we had here about how the test went and what some of the feedback was. And there we go. So lastly, we want to add in just a conclusion. And there we have it. We have created our first project. So I'm going to add in one more project and then we are going to add in our about section. So I have added in the second project and as you can see, everything looks really great. Let's preview it on mobile. How cool is that? So let's go back to the desktop and now I want to edit my about page. This already has some information here. And so I'm just going to add some basic things. I'm just going to edit the information on this block. I'm going to change the image here. So of course you can go in and add in as much more content as you would like. Uh, this is just really to show you how awesome this particular tool is and all the things that you can use it to do. So taking a look again, here we have our projects and here we have our about page. And just like that, in less than 30 minutes, we have created a portfolio using CarbonMate. Of course, you don't forget that you can get one month free of your pro subscription without having to add in things like your credit card details. You can just get started using the link in the description, which is carbonmade.com slash Sharon. So I really hope that today's video was helpful for you. If it was, do not forget to support me by liking, sharing, commenting, and of course, subscribing to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching and see you next time.